Hey, what's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Lockdown 2. It is the morning of day three. I could not craft the Hydro Organic Fabricator last night because I didn't have enough forged iron, so that's what we're after today. I do have some skill points to spend, five of them. Let's get Skull Crusher up another level. There we go. Now I want to put a point into Cybernetician. This way I can put a point into Advanced Engineering and another point into Run and Gun. Alright, the goal for today is to finish clearing out the prison. Once we get that done, we can start scoping out an area where we want to fight the Horde. I mean, it's night five. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. We could maybe even use a watchtower or this shipping container. We'll see. I can't even think about it until we get this place cleared. I don't think I can get forged iron from this thing. It's got 10,000 hit points. Yeah, I'm not doing that all day. I think all we're going to get is raw iron from that anyway. Oh, good morning there. Oh, rust in peace, bitch. I do have a little bit of 9mm and 7.62 on me, but not much. So I'm going to try and get away with the sledgehammer where I can. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Not a bad start. This looks like the cafeteria in there, which is nice. Let's check out this watchtower. I've been skipping them. Let's see what's going on up there, if there's any loot or possibly uh, robots up here. There's a robot. Okay. Well, I skipped a few uh, in the back area, so we'll have to backtrack to those things. It's no big deal. If there are robots up there, we'll get them. Oh, there's some food up here, too. Now we definitely got to make sure we check the other ones out. I'm not hungry right now, so we'll hold on to that chili. Uh, I don't think there's a reason to go out there. I don't know about using one of these for the horde. That's kind of like a death trap. Unless we build out a hallway from the bottom, you know, and put hatches in. Same old, same old standard thing. Just for night five to get us through because we don't have much time. It's fucking day three already. I mean, if we get the prison cleared out today, then we do have all of day four and day five to put something together, but it's not like we can spend all of our time doing that. We need to go out and do more looting and resource gathering. I mean, I'm pretty much out of wood. We got to cut more trees down. I have like no cobblestone. So even if we did want to just work on the base, we can't. We got no materials. So a lot to do in a little bit of time. Which I'm used to. I work well under pressure. I'm not worried. I'm also a knucklehead, which is probably why I'm not worried. Let's see if we can nail this sucker. What happened? Oh, I got him. Stay down, bitch. Fucking... I'm the Terminator Terminator. I terminate Terminators. That's what I do. It's on my business card. Well, it's not. It will be once I get them printed. Come on down, Chad. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to backtrack to all the other watchtowers that I skipped because so far there's been a robot in every one of them. Well, this is the way to go, I'm sure. And here come all the robots. Oh, there's a juggernaut over there. Oh. This is, uh, a good time to start using the ammo we brought. No, no, no. Stop. Please stop. That did not do much damage to him, did it? Ugh, neither did that. This is gonna be fun. Oh, that smoked him. Nice. Uh, I don't want to keep backing up. Because some of the robots stopped chasing me, and the last thing we want is for them to, like, respawn back out at their spawn points. You know, we don't want that to happen. We want to get them all murdered. So we'll just keep going back and forth in this area. We should be fine. Oh, 
Ah, uh, this little pea shooter does nothing to them. I mean, I might as well be shooting peas at them. I feel like it's a bit of a waste of 9mm. What the fuck is this? Oh, just a drone with not that many hit points. Pistol's not really doing much damage to it, though. Hey, get back here. Damn it. I want to get back through that fence. I don't really like this area because I'm I don't want to wake up more robots. There is a large pile of ammo right there, which is nice. So when we run out of ammo, we can loot that and hopefully get more. Well, it is softening them up a little bit, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is the way to go. I only have seven more rounds for this, though. There, there, there might be more 7.62 in that large ammo pile. We'll check. Oh, yeah. Line up, bitches. Who's next? Oh, killing robots is so fun. Give me some more ammo, please. Nice. Good night, big boy. Oh, get out of here, drone. You want some of this? Damn, that thing's like a tank. Oh, there we go. I'm not mad at the pipe pistol. It's helping. Sorta. I do have that pipe shotgun, but I only had a couple of shells left, so... That wouldn't have helped much either. These friggin' juggernauts, man. Look, drone! This stupid thing. <laughs> I need to get that drone killed. If it wasn't for the juggernauts, we'd be done with this group already. Oh shit, almost cornered myself there. Might as well use the last four rounds. He's down. Two more juggernauts and two more big boys. And then we can move on to the next area where there's going to be another giant group of robots, I'm sure. I mean, if we can continue to find more ammo, shouldn't be a problem. It is only 8.30 in the morning, so I guess we're making good time. I have no idea how much more prison there is to explore, though. So, who knows? Only time will tell. Just die, you shitheads. Yes. There's a spaceship. Where the hell did that drone go? I don't think I killed it. Uh, I'm not going to take a shot at that thing unless it comes closer. We got uh, robots trying to beat through this door, which is locked. But what the hell? Might as well open it up. Or at least, uh, make a little hole in it that we can shoot through. There we go. Will you stand up, Chad? Oh, shit. Is that it? I think that's it. Where's that loot bag? Here it is. Close that. Oh, vitamin. We can always take that and eat those sham sandwiches now if we need to. Oh, that was beautiful. One shot at his ass. Scrap that chair for the leather. I already looted that. Oh, I know where I am. This is like the beginning area. Might as well go drop off in storage then since it's right here. I added a couple of other chests last night and organized everything. Got food and health items in here. I've got uh, resources and crafting items in here. Whoops. These two items don't go in there because they go in here with weapons and ammo. Uh, I don't know if I can get forged iron from the gun safe, but I know I can get it from the workout benches. Oh, there you are, you little bitch. Where'd you disappear to, huh? You missed all the fun. Get down here. Come here. Die. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, drones explode. Keep that in mind. Alright, I need a stone. Here we go. 
I can repair that. Um, I guess this is the way to go. And here come more robots. Can I put a hatch down right here? No, I cannot. All right, then. I guess I'll just shoot them through the bars. Well, can't do that without ammo. Damn it. I dropped it off in the fucking storage chest. Ten rounds. Not gonna help that much. I guess I'll take the shotgun and the two shells. Better than the pistol and no bullets. I better not use all my arrows. I think I've softened them up enough. Okay. Cell block C. Almost cleared. There's definitely more. Oh, they're locked in cells. Oh, and there's one up there. Just fucking standing around like he's the foreman. Get down here. Excuse me. Murky water. Let's check this last toilet. More murky water. Okay, well, this is the way to go. Oh, it's the cafeteria. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, at least the door closes. And I can put a hatch right here. Okay. I'm alright with this. I mean, not really. Look how many there are. It's ridiculous. It is a nice setup, though, because when you close the door, they can't hit the hatch. So you can just close it and uh, repair the hatch if you need to, or just kind of chill and get your stamina back, and they're not beating on the hatch, and then you can open the door back up and go to work. However, there are so many robots that I imagine they'll destroy that door pretty quickly. Can we repair it? What do you need to repair it? No, you need steel. Can't do it. Oh, yeah, it's like Robot Jenga. That's fun. Until they all get up and you realize just how many there are. This is ridiculous. Uh, hour 13? Unless this is the final room with the loot, which I doubt it is. I don't know, man. <laughs> if this is insanity. Oh, they're going to break through that block up there. Which doesn't really matter. That's not going to let them get through. Even if they get through, it's not a big deal. We'll just back up. Um, it's just the easiest to keep them all here in a pile, you know? Instead of running around, I don't really got to go anywhere. Saves on stamina. So, we just soften them up as best we can. Kill as many as we can. And, uh, what else can we do, you know? It'd be nice if we had more ammo, but we don't. Down they go. Oh, shit, here they come. Oh, I should have put a hatch on the other side of this door. Oh, well. I can whack him through that little hole there with the stun baton. See? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, they're pushing their way through. And we're back outside again. At least it's not raining. We need a stone. So we can repair the sledgehammer. This is a stone right here. All right. Yeah, we've been getting really lucky with the weather the past few days. You know, I want to try and make it to the trader. And, uh... See exactly where it is, but it's kind of far. I think it's like almost two kilometers away. And I'm not sure if it's in the wasteland or not. I would hate to be walking there and get caught in the rain, you know? But I think I'm gonna try my luck at heading there after the Horde Night. Keep in mind, we have not found any anti-rad pills, and I don't know how to make them yet. If we can find one before the Horde is over, or in the loot bags of the dead robots after the Horde, then I can put off on going to the trader. 
But if we still haven't found any, we have to take that journey. Maybe the traitor has some. Ah, holy shit. Oh my god, I thought that thing was inside. What does it want from my life? I don't want to go that way. We're just about done here. Okay. Hi there. Please go away. You're freaking me out. Oh shit, we're not done. Still got these straggling assholes. Oh, please let this almost be over. <laughs> I just want this to be a safe place. That's all. That's all I want is prison to feel more like home. There we go. Okay, the cafeteria. Let's see what we got in here. We got a crawler. Crawlers seem to be broken in this mod. They don't come after you. They try and run away. I don't know if it's their pathing that's screwed up or what, but every crawler I've encountered so far has not tried to kill me. Sounds like there's another one. Yeah. Hey there, little buddy. You want to attack me or no? Oh, shit. And here we are again. I really don't want to go back outside. Last thing I need is for that big giant thing to start shooting at me. But they are going to get through here real soon. Chad is already through. Ah, and here they all come. Great. Oh, okay. That thing's gone. So, uh, that's kind of a relief. Oh, yeah, baby. At least there are no juggernauts in this group. That's something to be thankful for. They, the robots can definitely take more hits than the zombies could. I don't know if the number of robots is equal to the number of zombies in this corrections facility, because I never raided this place uh, in a normal game. This is my first time ever being here. But I could tell you this. Dealing with this many zombies is way easier than this many robots. I've never had to hit a zombie this many fucking times. Not even the toughest of zombies. I mean, granted, you still can get a one-shot kill on the robots, but for the most part, you gotta whack the shit out of them. Cat food? Yeah, I'll eat it. Food is our problem now, not water. Water we never have to worry about. We have, like, infinite supply since we can refill at the toilets. Uh, and since you now get glass jars back from drinking water... Infinite supply. It's food, that's the issue. So I'm gonna take this cornmeal. Don't judge me. I'm starving. No coffee. Can I get forged iron from this machine? I don't think so. Nope. Hey, cooking pot. Eh, there was one here. Whatever, we found one. So no big deal. I don't think I can get forged iron from this either. Nope. Ooh, that was just the top. The machine's not going to give it to us. Probably just electrical and mechanical parts. Or nothing. Wow, that sucked. Take that. That, um... We got a good amount of forged iron from the workout equipment before, but it wasn't enough to craft the, uh... Organic... Foodalyzer, or whatever the fuck that thing is. Fabricator, <laughs> there it is. Hydro Organic Fabricator. I'm pretty sure it's like a meat printer. We'll see. I need to grab a couple of stones here. One to uh, repair my sledgehammer, and one to repair this axe. Come on. Give me another one. There we go. Little storage room back here. I bet you yeah, this opens up to that shipping container. Yep, that area is already clear, so I don't got to worry about that. Uh, I'll scrap the die. I'm not going to dig up this cement yet. We'll do that later. I will grab this cornmeal, though. I know, it's bullshit. I'm right there with you, believe me. But listen. A few pieces of cornmeal and a bottle of water, you can make cornbread. And that's food. And that's what we need. Do we go through block B, or do we go downstairs? 
Let me see if uh, this door is locked. It is. Okay, so we go downstairs. I don't see anything crazy going on in the cells. Let's just see what we got down here. Oh, more robots. That makes sense. Back up, big boy. Oh, look at that one shot. What the fuck is that thing? Looks like a battle toad. Is that it? Just a couple of these juggernauts? That's not a big deal. We can handle it. This one is crazy looking, though. Look at that. No, oh, stop it. All right, let's get this shit out of the way here. And, uh, oh, you know what? It doesn't matter. We can put the hatch on this side because the door's gone. Where is that weird looking guy? Where'd he go? I know he wasn't dead. Ah, here he is. Oh, shit. Guess I should have let my stamina build up a bit more before I decided to come fight this guy. Oh, creeping up on hour 18 here. I don't know, it's looking less and less likely that we're gonna clear out the entire prison today. There we go. We get anything different from taking apart the juggernauts? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, electrical parts, mechanical parts, springs, and raw iron. Maybe we get something special from taking apart those big giant mechs. If uh, I ever get around to killing one, we'll check. Oh, God. A little bit of sneak damage. I think there's a robot under the steps. Did one get caught under here? Yes, there is one. It's fucking Chad. Of course it is. Okay. Come here, Chad. Get out from under there. There you go, idiot. Now write me a 500-word essay on why you're stupid. Uh, maybe I'm the stupid one. I'm over here fighting 3,000 robots. For what? To get this prison ready for a horde so we can fight more? That's insanity. Bro, why? Why you exist for? Go away. Oh, how'd you like that, huh? Knocked you down, you big baby. Now what are you gonna do? Get back up? Well, shit. It's crawler in here. Oh, and a big boy. And more robots. Fuck, man. Ah, oh, just some ammo. I know there's a there's a passing gas crate in the closet where the juggernaut was. Oh my god, there's more robots in there. This is crazy. Come on. Ow. Oh, shit. And they broke right through that door. I guess it was just glass. I thought it was bulletproof glass. I thought it was going to take them longer than that to break through. Oh, down they go. Here. One for you. One for you. Another one for you. Another one for you. Yeah, that's called sharing, motherfuckers. Uh, we still got the crawler in there, but I'm not worried about him. I want to see what's going on in this server room here. Oh, this leads around to that area, which I'm going to go crack into that uh, crate here in a second. Oh, shit. Got a drone right here. Just floating around, being stupid. Come here, drone. God, they're so... Oh, my God, it shot me. Fuck. I mean, I guess I'd shoot me, too, if I was that thing. Uh, let's take care of the crawler real quick. Because it's making noises and shit, and I keep thinking it's more robots coming for me. Okay, we gotta kill this drone. It's just like hiding in this room, but I don't trust it one bit. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, it's gonna explode. You gotta keep that in mind. Come on, dude. Uh, there we go. <sighs> I don't think those are meant to be killed with a sledgehammer. You gotta be killing those things from a distance. Oh, come on. 
Give me a break! I just saw another battle toad juggernaut in there. Son of a bitch. Oh, yes! That was great. That was damn near a one-shot, because he really didn't have that much uh, damage done to him. That's all we got in here is just the passing gas crate. I was hoping there might be more. Because I don't think we're going to get any ammo from a passing gas crate. Nope. Alright. Well. Another Juggernaut and Kenny. And then... I don't know. I feel like we should just call it quits. We got an hour left until uh, nightfall. And when that happens, they all become a little faster. And I don't like that one bit. Alright, what do we got in here? Ooh, I could search this one. A couple of plastic parts. No need to search the toilets right now. Oh, you're kidding me. Is it just him, you think? Or a whole other room full? Uh, hold up. Before I set some more shit off, I just want to see. Can we get forged iron from the big uh, washing machines? Probably not. Mechanical and electrical parts. And a pipe and some iron. That's going to do it. All right. Fuck it. I'm hitting this guy with an arrow. At least we can get some sneak damage on him. There we go. Oh, God. More woke up. And it's about to be night. How many more? Oh, shit. This is not good. That was a bad decision. I just made. Fuck, man. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't get stuck in a stall. I should put a hatch down right here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's crooked. That's what she said. Fuck. Okay, it's still gonna work. It's still gonna work. Killed one. Oh, they're breaking my hatch. This is not gonna hold. Oh, I wish I had a grenade. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, bitch. That's what you get when you slip through my crack. How many jokes is he gonna make about slipping through cracks? As many as I can. Oh my god, that thing is in the fucking yard? Holy shit, we gotta hold them here. We could not get pushed into the yard. One of those giant mechs is there. I think it's stuck behind that fence. But still, that's not good. Oh, shit. We got to get back to our storage. Look at it looking at me. Are those the eyes? I don't know. Uh, there's a easy way to get back. How did we do it before? Was it through here? Oh my god, there's a battle toad out there. Why? I thought that area was clear. Ah, I might be in over my head with this one. I don't remember. This, uh, this is locked. That's not the way to go. I'm gonna have to just run past this fucking thing. I'm breaking through there is not going to help because of the battle toad. Oh, we got to go through that door. That's what it is. Okay, I'm running. In here. Through here. Nope, this way. And close lights and go by our storage. And hopefully this thing doesn't start shooting me. And we pray for morning. I'm going to close this hatch over here. And holy shit, what a friggin' day. It's insanity. 21 pieces. We need 30 for the Hydro Organic Fabricator. That is a damn shame. Well, I do have some food. I'm gonna take the vitamin and eat the 
sham sandwiches. And then I'll use some water and make some cornbread tonight. And that should solve our food problems for, I don't know, another day. <laughs> Hopefully we can get this prison cleared tomorrow. I, we definitely can. We will get the prison cleared tomorrow. We need to scope out an area to fight the Night 5 horde. And then if we get all that done and we still have time, then we'll just go out and do some looting in town, fight the horde, and then... Granted, if we don't find any anti-rad pills by the time the horde is over, we need to head for the trader and hopefully be able to buy some from the trader. Guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.